welcome guys to my first tutorial yeah guys uh, today I'm gonna teach you how to make this as you see here and uh, it's been highly requested and I've added a few features to it uh, it's not too advanced uh, as you see here these are the layers we're going to go through really basic so yeah um, after this tutorial, if any of you guys want to see something certain, see how it's done, just leave a comment below and uh, I'll try to come around to it. Yeah, uh, should we start? Uh, let's remove these and these. So, to start with, we gotta begin with the basic shape of the banner or flag so we're gonna take uh, any color I'm gonna take red because I like that color and you're just gonna make a square just like this and uh, after that you just take your bucket make a new layer of course and fill it with the right color there we go uh, now, it's the little tricky part. Uh, you gotta line it up all perfect. So yeah, I got quite a lot of these up right now. It's a bummer. Well, let's just take this one over. Let's take it over here. God damn it. here my computer is really slow so I'm sorry uh, move it up here so I can use this line uh, now you're gonna take the polygonal lasso tool you're gonna try to find a middle first this is just to do it exact on my speed arts I don't I don't do it like this I, I just use my eyes to measure the length let's just you do it properly this time. So, when you think about it, you gotta have it around a little over the middle. So this one is still thick, and this one's still thick, but this is gonna be even thicker. So, just over the middle. Right? Uh, then, you just Oh fuck, uh, I need this one. Put it a little under so the middle tip gets longer than the side tips. And just take it point from point to point. Uh, my computer is really slow so it's lagging quite a bit. this uh, remove the guides oh also if you want those lines these lines here see if I can get them even out these you just click up here and they will show if you don't have the show rulers first you gotta click on this this and then these would pop up and you can just drag them down to line up things and you use this to hide and show the ones the lines so let's continue uh, you're gonna need a brush so you can just take this last part first you click control shift and I on a Mac you will probably click command shift and I so you click that and that will do the opposite, it will choose the opposite of what you have here so this is the part you will not color and then take it away again and hit delete and click M and outside the box and we'll remove it then you 
it's the coloring part. So for the coloring part, you're going to need a drop shadow, put it to 90, about 3, and increase the size a little bit and the spread a little bit. So you get a nice big color area. Uh, then you're going to need some inner shadow, put it to 90, take the distance down to about 1, and choke up to about 20, and the uh, size up to about 60 but then just lower the opacity down to 40 uh, maybe 30 right um, the next part we're going to do is uh, the guardian overlay just to make it look like it's a, a little damaged on the bottom so it's a darker down there we're going to put it to soft light change the white color to a uh, light middle-ish gray so get it a little darker and put down the opacity a little bit and then we're going to go to patterns yeah patterns and you're gonna choose a texture you want like for me it's not the same texture every time I can just I just choose the textures that I like like I got these, a lot of fiber textures, I like them a lot, but I think I'm gonna use this one for a little more depth. Um, I'm gonna put it in the middle, just to get this middle part here. And I'm gonna choose the blend mode, like I don't have any specific blend modes, I just choose them over time. I see what looks best and I'm choosing it. That's so easy. So I'm going to go with overlay, color overlay, black, just to make it a little darker. And I'm going to choose this one, and I'm going to light it up a little bit so you get a dark feeling. Uh, yeah, now we're done here. We are going to go with the actual things that I made. I like this, I just made for fun. We're going to do that now. So for this, you make a new layer, choose a golden la uh, color, right now I'm using C49, C31, I like it. And you just use the rectangle tool and make a line, like that. Uh, no. Then you take your bucket again and fill it up. Then put it so it's centered, so it's equals on both sides. Uh, maybe I'm going to do like this. Control J to copy it, so I can make it a little longer. Right, like that. Just hold in Shift, press these two, and uh, convert to smart object. After that, you rasterize it. Then you're going to need the circle tool or elliptical marquee tool and you're gonna make a egg form just a small egg form then you're gonna put it over this and uh, no, no sky uh, then you're gonna make a new layer take a bucket again and just color over there so you see that you get a nice egg formed edge on it. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Not much, just a little bit. Then you're gonna cl uh, click Control J to copy it. And just move it over to the other side with holding the Shift button. Like that. Uh, now, you're gonna make another circle. This one's going to be a little more circle-ish. So you're going to make a little circle, place it over here, bring it a little out to get like a nice tip, and then fill it with the gold color or your chosen color. You can choose whatever color you want. 
I think gold suits it best. And then you're gonna bring it over to the other side, like that. And there you go. So now we're gonna play around with some blending. I'm just gonna use the main layer here to do the blending and just copy over. So you're gonna have a, oh, that's the wrong one. You're gonna have the drop shadow. Not too much, but some. And you can just keep this standard and just bring the opacity a little bit down. And you can take up the size to about 10 and uh, spread to about 3, I guess. And set this to 30. Then you're gonna need a gradient tool or gradient overlay and uh, set it to soft light oh, we're gonna go with overlay and put down the opacity to about 70 then you're gonna go with the pattern overlay like this is my my choice I, I just do this to get a little more metallic feel so I'm gonna choose this metallic overlay right here and I'm gonna set the blend mode to soft light then I'm gonna have a color overlay and a dark goldish color and I'm gonna choose to use uh, soft light and the opacity down to 70 uh, yeah then we're done with this layer so you just uh, right click copy layer style and paste it on the different layers to make it similar yeah um, the next part will be the stifts on the sides here as you see here these stifts uh, that's the next part that's a time consuming part but it's really easy I'm just gonna show you the basics I'm not gonna complete it totally because it takes a lot of time but yeah you take your uh, uh, what's this called the polygonal lasso tool and you will mark it like uh, a few pixels away from the edge You're just gonna bring it all the way down to about there and up here and then down again let's see if I can get this right yep then up here again make sure you don't come too close to the edges because then you're gonna have to redo it all over like not the whole flag but uh, markings right and to get these right straight lines that I get right here you just hold in shift right now join it together you have your gold color I'm gonna use a gold you can use black you can use red blue yellow whatever you want I'm gonna use the gold color so now you're gonna right click stroke one pixel and here we go uh, use the eraser tool to make like the stiftest stifts stiftings I don't know like that so you remove it like so it's not all over the top uh, go to blending options put it to about lighter color and here's the time consuming part as I said, I'm not going to do it the whole thing because it takes a lot of time, Expe especially with my PC and recording at the same time. It's going to lag and take time before it updates. But you're just going to go down like this, like I already clicked, but went away, all the way down. It's really easy, right? So for this, I would use a uh, hard uh, hard brush 
if you use a soft brush you're gonna get get them like this you see it's gonna be like faded and that's not nice when it comes to these so yeah I'm gonna show you what blending options I use on the stiffness so I'm gonna go over here open this up and then I'm gonna go to the stiffs and I use a uh, outer glow just to make them enhance a little bit and then I use a gradient overlay with an overlay blending mode on so it's a little more in depth and follows the uh, textures on the flag so you see I take it off it's way more bright I take it on it's dark down here and brighter up here um, I'm going to try something just to see if I can make it a little prettier I'm going to use this bevel emboss and put it up to 100 size to 100 soften up to 100 and I'm going to put it at 90 and I'm going to put this a little down take this a little down have the white color be a little more goldish And I'm gonna choose the cone inverted, or yeah, inverted cone, and contour. Make it up to a range about 80. Make it jagged. Ring, it's called. Like that. Yeah, it looks a little better. So. Uh, there you go guys if you want anything else tutorial wise just uh, leave a comment in below and uh, I'll come around with it and I promise you guys I'm gonna get way more comfortable talking to you it's just my second time so it's kinda embarrassing so uh, yeah uh, I'm done so uh, see ya people, bye.